EA Sports. It's in the game. EA Sports. It's in the game. NCAA Football 2003. state for this game being played here in Pasadena, California. Clear skies and just beautiful weather here for tonight's game between the USC Trojans and the Bruins of UCLA. And here come the Bruins. Hi everybody, Brad Nessler along with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet as we welcome you to a great rivalry game, the annual battle for the victory bell. If you compare these teams on paper, they really look to be pretty equal. Kirk, what do you think? Well, in a close matchup like this, I always like to look at the individual. UCLA needs to get the ball in the hands of their athletes. That means getting their running back maybe 25 or 30 touches today. If they do that, Lee, they'll take care of business. That's a nice pick, a nice pick. UCLA can run the football against anybody and this defense will be no different. Watch them. They'll bang them and bang them and bang them. Thank you, guys. The team captains are on the field, and this game is about to get underway. UCLA has the ball teed up, and we're ready for kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Number 22 fields it in the end zone. Sheds that one. Spin move. First and ten, ball on the 19. Number 25 lines up in the deep back, eye formation. Number three gives it up the middle. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. And that was an excellent run there. Yeah, that was great blocking, Brad, up front by the offensive line to open up that hole. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 29. High formation here. Hand off up the middle. And he's taken down at the 33-yard line. The fullback gains about four yards there. Second down and six to go. Ball on the 33. Defense lines up. Eight men in the box. Number three gives it up the middle. Brought down at the 35-yard line. Two-yard carry by the fullback. Third down and four to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. USC comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Drops back to pass. Looking. Now he's scrambling. He passes it. 
Number nine, knocks it away. How about that for a great play? Talking about great plays, the defender made a spectacular stab at the ball there and broke it up. It's fourth down, four yards to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Number nine, back to return it. Number nine, signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 25-yard line. They'll take over at the 25. Number 27 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Under heavy pressure, lets it go. Tipped away. Good awareness defensively that time by the linebacker. Not only that, but as you saw, he also made a very athletic move to get to the ball. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 25. Number 10 with three wide receivers. Number 10 with a nice play fake. And he can't get away from the pressure. He just broke free on that one. Oh, I feel sorry for that young kid. Those big bullies are coming at you 200 miles an hour. That's scary, my friend. Third down and 12. Ball on their own 23. UCLA sets up in the eye. He drops back. Fires a bullet out to the right. Number 43, bats it down. And he threw the ball into coverage. Man, I tell you, he's lucky that defense didn't come away with that one. Whew. It's fourth and 12 yards to go. Ball on the 23. Number 30, awaiting the return. Number 30, back to return. Number 30, fields it at the 35. Nowhere to go there. Nowhere is right. He's lucky he got the yards that he did. Yeah, excellent job getting downfield and making the tackle by the coverage team. They'll go to work at the 35. Three-man front defensively. They'll bring him down at the 42-yard line. He takes the handoff and responds with a seven-yard gain. Second and three coming up, all on the 42-yard line. The Trojans line up with three wide. Number 25 gets the carry. Tackle at the 49. That'll be a seven-yard pickup. Seven-yard gain on the play. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. USC comes out in the shotgun. Number three on the option. Number 24 brings him down for a loss. Nowhere to go on that play, Coach. Boy, you're absolutely right, Brad. This is a great job by the defense in not giving him any room to create anything. Second and 13, ball on the 46-yard line. They use four linebackers. Number three, drops back. He's looking. He's under pressure. Let's it fly. Incomplete. The wide receiver couldn't catch up to that ball. And you know what? No one could have caught up to that one. He just misfired it. Third and 13 coming up. Ball on the 46-yard line. 
The Bruins bring in the nickel package. Number three, back to pass. Looks, rolls right. And it's incomplete. How about that? He's got to come up with that catch here. Yeah, you're right, Coach. This is a catch that has to be made. There's really no excuse for dropping that ball. Check out the replay on that one. Fourth and 13 coming up. Ball on their own 46. They line up to punt this one away. Number nine calls for the fair catch. He hauls it in at the 23-yard line. They'll get the ball here at the 23. The Bruins come out in a two tight end set. On the ground, left side. A little juke. Can't wrap him up with a stiff arm. Number 22 with a takedown at the 28. They get five yards on the play. Second down and five. Ball on the 28. USC brings in their nickel package. Number 10 gives it up the middle. And he's taken down at the 32. Four-yard gain by the back. It's third down and a yard for the first down. Ball on the 32-yard line. UCLA comes out with an eye formation. Number 10 still has it. He rolls out to the right. He lets it go, and that one's fallen incomplete. Kirky just let that one get away from him. Yeah, and you can see he wants that one back. That's a throw this guy can make in his sleep. It's fourth down, a yard to go. Ball on their own 32. UCLA ready to put this one away. Number 30 signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 35-yard line. They'll start this drive at the 35-yard line. USC comes to the line with three wide. Handoff up the middle. Bounces off the would-be tackle. Number nine brings him down at the 37-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 37. UCLA comes out in a 4-3. On the ground, up the middle. Flag on the play. And they make the stop at the 39. Holding. Holding. On the offense. On the offense. 10 yards. Ten yards. Five. 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 Still Still down. Second down. down. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Number three lines up in the shotgun. Number three drops to throw. He steps up. He throws it. And they couldn't hook up on that one. I think he was feeling a lot of pressure there, guys. Ha! <laughs> I'll tell you what. He's lucky he got rid of that ball when he did, because they were coming. Pass.
passing situation here on third and long. Ball on their own 29. The Bruins line up with six defensive backs. Number three, drops back to pass. They'll throw the flag, throws it deep downfield. And it's knocked away. Holding, Holding. on the offense. On the offense. It's fourth down and a long ways to go. Ball on their own 29. They line up to punt this one away. Number nine, field 31. He just got shut down on the punt return. Yeah, in situations like that, Brad, it's probably best if you just call for a fair catch. They'll take over at the 34-yard line. The Bruins line up with two tight ends. Back to pass. Here comes the pressure. He's looking for his man. And it falls incomplete. The tight end might have been bracing himself for the hit there. No question. He might have heard footsteps that time and couldn't concentrate on making the catch. Second and 10. Ball on the 34. They line up in the shotgun. Play action. Looking. He unloads it. Complete. Number 22 with a takedown at the 50. A good play fake that time. Here, the play action was key. It held the linebackers there by the fake by the running back, and the running back did a very nice job of carrying out his fake. And the quarterback did a tremendous job of the fake handoff, too. First and 10. Ball right around midfield. They line up in a double tight set. Drop back to pass. Throws it out there. It's dropped. And he couldn't hang on to it. Tough break there. They had a good play on. The quarterback made the right decision, but the tight end just couldn't come up with a catch. So it's second and ten. Ball right around midfield. USC lines up with five defensive backs. And it's caught. He's hit and got away. Nothing doing. Tackled for a loss on the play. Loss of a yard. Third and 11 coming up here. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Trojans bring in their dime package. He drops back. He passes it. Number 18 has it. Number 30 brings him down at the 33. Oh, my, that long game gives him a first down, Coach. A first down and a nice pass play. Knowing you can convert on third and long will open up your offense a little bit more on first and second. Let's see what they do from here. First and 10. This is the sixth play of this drive. Number 10 with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Under pressure. Rolling out to the right side. Swatted away, and he's lucky that wasn't picked off. And that's the end of the first quarter, folks. No score after one. Now the teams have switched sides, and we're ready for the start of the second quarter. Second and ten. Seventh play of this drive coming up. USC lines up defensively in a 4-3. Drops back to pass. Let's it go. Number 43 tips it away. And the defense comes up with a big play. Yeah, they did. And when you have guys up front that can get into the quarterback's face, plays like this are going to happen. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 33-yard line. UCLA in a four-wide set. He drops back. He's looking. This one's thrown deep over the middle. Incomplete. Couldn't find his man in the end zone there. You know, as a quarterback, I can tell you that the defense is always tougher down in the end zone.
It's fourth down and 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33. The Trojans line up in a nickel back. Number 10 back to throw. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. They hold on fourth down. Now that's how you get a team motivated. I wouldn't be surprised to see their offense take the field with an explosive power attack. They'll go to work at the 36-yard line. UCLA comes out in a 4-3. Number three, hands off right side. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. He didn't get much on that play at all. Brad, the defense had that play read and sealed it off from the get-go. Second down and 12. Ball on the 34-yard line. USC goes with the ace set here. Number three, little toss to the right. Makes a move, and they got him for a loss. And he couldn't go anywhere on that run. Nah, he couldn't go anywhere because there was no place for him to run. The defensive front got a good push and knocked that offensive line backwards. Third and 14 coming up here. Ball on their own 32. Going with the shotgun here. Back to pass. Let's it fly. Complete. And he's tackled at the 37-yard line. A heck of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. Let's take another look at that pass. First and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. UCLA lines up defensively in a 4-3. Couldn't haul it in. Number 84, the intended receiver on the play. And second down and ten to go. Ball on the 37. UCLA comes out in a 4-3. Number three, tosses to the left side. And they hit him in the backfield. He didn't really have a chance on that play. Boy, guys, how about the defense on this play? They sniffed that play out from the start. Third down and 12. Ball on the 39-yard line. USC comes to the line with three wide. Looks, steps up in the pocket. He's looking deep down the left side. Number nine with a takedown at the one. The defense came with a blitz that time. Yeah, but when you blitz a quarterback that is smart as this guy, you got to blitz him late, and you got to change your defense late. Right, Kirk? That's exactly right. Let's see if they begin to pick up what we're seeing here. Just a little bit of a cat and mouse game out there. Let's see if they can punch this one in. up the middle and it pays off touchdown what do you say about that touchdown coach he really banged and bullied his way in the end zone that's a great touchdown and he tacks on the extra point USC is ready to kick it away. He kicks it. 
Number six fields it at the three. Kickoff return, 19 yards. Number six on the return. They'll get the ball here at the 22. USC brings in the nickel here. Drops back to pass. Looking. He's going long. Batted away. The safety comes up with a nice play. Nice job of the safety here, sitting back and playing center field, and then seeing the ball and coming up and simply batting the ball away. Second and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. USC comes out defensively with six defensive backs. He drops back. He lets it go. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Seven-yard loss on the play. Third and long. Ball on the 15. UCLA lines up with three receivers. Number 10 drops back. He fires right. Number 87 makes a catch. And that pass and catch gives them a first down. Yep, they got the first down. But it wasn't by much, you guys. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 32. USC comes out in a 3-4. Number 10, hands off to the left. He spins around, and he's taken down at the 40-yard line. A nice pickup of about eight yards. Second and two. Fifth play of this drive coming up. The Trojans line up in a 4-3. He throws it. Number 87 hangs on to it. He stayed in bounds on that catch. Heck of a catch by the receiver. The quarterback threw the ball off target, but luckily he's got receivers like this guy. First and 10. Ball on their own 42. They're lining up in the 5-2. Play action. He's looking for his man, and that one's fallen incomplete. He's short that time. No question. He had him open, but just couldn't manage to get the ball up enough to allow his wide receiver to get his hands on it. And second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 42. UCLA goes with the ace set here. Number 10 steps back to pass. Steps up. He unloads it. Tipped away. And an outstanding play defensively. Yeah, he timed it perfectly and managed to get a hand in there to deflect the ball away. It's third down and 10. This is the eighth play of this drive. USC brings in their nickel package. Back to pass. Throws it out there. Tackle at the 49. That brings up fourth down and inches. This is what gives coaches gray hairs right here. Get the first down already. Is that what happened to you? Not so fast, my friend. Fourth and one. Ball right around midfield. The Bruins are lining up to punt it away. Number 30 calls for the fair catch. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They'll start this drive at the 20-yard line. The Trojans line up with three wide. He passes it. Incomplete. 
He just couldn't get to that one. Well, he looked to be a little excited back there in the pocket. May have rushed things a little bit. Needs to be a little bit more patient, step up, make the throw. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 20. USC lines up in a shotgun set. Number three, drops the throw. He guns it to the right, and it's knocked away. And they do a good job at swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where the football is and is get his hand on it. Third and 10, ball on the 20. UCLA lines up with five defensive backs. Drops back to pass. He's in trouble. He fires left side. And it's caught. And down he goes at the 29. That's going to bring up fourth down. Just a great job by the defense. These guys are disguising their defense so well that they're confusing the quarterback and the offensive line. Fourth and one coming up. Ball in the 29. The Trojans line up the punt. Number nine, signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 37-yard line. They'll take over at the 37. USC lines up defensively in a 4-3. Brought down at the 37. Not much for the runner as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 37. The Bruins come out in a two tight end set. They'll run the option. The lateral. Number 94 brings him down at the 43-yard line. They call his number, and he carries for six yards. Third down and four coming up on this one. Ball on their own 43. The Trojans put four men up front under heavy pressure. It falls incomplete. The wide receiver couldn't catch up to that ball. And you know what? No one could have caught up to that one. He just misfired it. It's fourth down. Four yards to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. UCLA ready to put this one away. Thirty fields it to 17, and he gets very little there as the coverage was almost perfect on that play. They'll go to work at the 18-yard line. They come out with four linebackers. Number 25, the ball carrier. They'll bring him down at the 19-yard line. The Trojans call for a timeout, and that was their first timeout. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 19-yard line. The Bruins come out in a 34 defense. Number three, still has it. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Overthrew his intended target. We talked about this before, how pressure causes the quarterback to hurry his passes. Here he felt the blitz coming and got rid of the ball a little too quickly. It's third down and nine to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. 
The Trojans line up in an eye formation. Hand off up the middle. Break one, and he's taken down at the 28-yard line. And he just made it past the first down line. Boy, big play there, Brad, on third down. Good job of running the football there. Kirk, of course it always helps, doesn't it, if you got some good blocking up front? It's first and 10. Ball on their own 28. The Trojans come out in a shotgun. He drops back. He steps up. Let's it go. Incomplete pass. Boy, would he like to have that one back. Yeah, you're right. This offense relies so much on timing. And as you saw there, when their timing gets knocked off, they have a tough time connecting on plays like this. So it's second and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. USC comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Back to pass. He's under pressure. Complete. Number two with a takedown at the 36. And they beat the blitz that time and came away with a nice play. It's third down and two to go. Sixth play of this drive coming up. The Bruins line up in a 3-4. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Let's it fly. Number 84 with a catch. To the 20. To the 10. Sheds a tackler. He finally goes down at the four-yard line. The offense calls a timeout. That was their second timeout. Looks like they'll try to power it right into the heart of the defense. Number 25 on the give. That's a three-yard pickup. Number three, back to pass. Rolls to the right. Tipped away. And the linebacker makes a good defensive play. The thing I like about this play is he made the play without getting pass interference. This is a good football player. USC lines up in a goal line set. Touchdown, Trojan. He was not going to be denied on that one, guys. You're right, Brad. He saw the goal line and just plowed ahead until he crossed it. And he hits the PAT. Down to just a few seconds left here before the half. And our score, USC, 14, UCLA, nothing. USC, ready to kick this one off. Number six and number 29, set to return. And they'll be returning this one. Number six, takes it from the six. Kickoff return, 24 yards. yards. Number, Number six, six on the on return. The return. Right. They'll get the ball here at the 29. USC comes out in a 4-3. They hand it off. Brought down at the 31. UCLA takes a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. It's second down and eight. Ball on their own 31. USC comes out defensively with six defensive backs. He drops back. He's looking. Fires deep down the left side. Flag down, and it falls incomplete. Pass interference, Pass interference. On, the on the defense. 15 
First and 10, ball on the 46 yard line. The Bruin set up in the gun. Back to pass. Looks. Here comes the pressure. He lets it go. And it's caught. Number 22 brings him down at the 15-yard line. Here's another look, Coach. Yo, check out this pass. That kid sees an open man right there and just zips it to him. Good pass. Nice catch, too. And we've reached halftime here. The score at the break. USC, 14. UCLA, nothing. We'll see what kind of halftime adjustments were made as we prepare to start the second half. Kicks it off. Number 29, passes at the five. And he couldn't get a thing going with that return, Lee Corso. Brad, let me tell you something about kickoff returns. They require good blocking and precise timing. They didn't have either one of those things right there. They'll start this drive at the 16. Number 10 comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. Rifles it right side. Tackle at the 26-yard line. And Herbie, that was a good-looking throw. Yeah, and what impresses me is the composure of this young quarterback. He made a great read, saw the open receiver, and delivered an almost perfect strike. Good-looking play. At second and inches, ball on their own 26. The Trojans line up in a 4-3. He goes downtown, and that one's fallen incomplete in the direction of his wideout. There was no way that his receiver could have gotten to that one. Third down and short, ball on their own 26. USC comes out in a 4-3. Number 51 with a takedown at the 32-yard line. And that was a nice run on third down. That's right, Brad. Those big uglies up front did a nice job of paving the way for the ball carrier. First and 10. Ball on their own 32. USC brings in their nickel package. He drops back. He throws it. Complete. Nice spin move. And he's tackled at the 33-yard line. They get only a yard from the pass play. Second and nine coming up here. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Bruins line up with four wideouts. Number 51 brings him down at the 34-yard line. So the quarterback keeper gets maybe a yard. Third and eight, ball on the 34-yard line. The Bruins come out showing three wide. Number 27 gets a talk. Nothing doing. Tackled for a loss on the play. How about that defensive stop? That's a great effort by the defensive line there. Anytime you can get into the backfield and disrupt the timing of a run like this, you're going to come up with a big stop. It's fourth down and 14. Ball on the 28. The Bruins line up to punt. Number 30 fields at the 29. What I like about this is the guys stayed in their lanes and didn't allow the big play. take over at the 28-yard line. They come out with four linebackers. Hey! 
Here's the draw. He's hit and got away, and he's taken down at the 31. That'll be a gain of three yards. Second and seven. Ball on their own 31. Four-man front by the defense. Number 25 on a counter, left side. And he's stopped behind the line. Loss of about two. It's third down and nine to go. Ball on the 29. The Bruins bring in the nickel package. Back to pass. He's looking for his man. Number two has it, and down he goes at the 39-yard line. A nice pass play there. Let me tell you, the reason why this play worked was the fact that the defense didn't do a good job of knocking the wide receiver off his route. You got to jam him at the line and throw their timing off. It's first and ten. Ball on the 39. Number 25 lines up in a deep back. Eye formation. Number three gives it up the middle. And they make the stop at the 49. How about that run by this halfback? You know what? When this offense can run the ball like this, watch out. They can score quickly. Watch out is right, because now you got to worry about the run and the pass on defense. First and ten. Fifth play of this drive coming up. USC lines up in a shotgun set. He unloads it, and it's caught, and he's tackled at the 45. Three, maybe four yards on the pass. Second and six coming up here. This is the sixth play of this drive. Four-man front by the defense. They'll bring him down at the 42-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Third down and three coming up. This is the seventh play of this drive. UCLA comes out in a 4-3. Number three, options out. Takes off a tackle, under pressure, and he's gonna be sacked for a loss. A big play by the defense right there. Well, that's a great individual effort there. He just bull rushed and went right through the line. Rare combination of power and speed by the defense. Fourth down and 10, ball right around midfield. They line up to punt this one away. Number nine calls for the fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 12. They'll go to work at the 12-yard line. The Bruins come out in the ace formation, drop back to pass. Looking, rifles this one out to the left. Number one makes the catch. The wide receiver picks up good yardage that time. First and ten, ball on the 33-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. Nothing doing. Tackled for a loss on the play. That was a fantastic play by this defense. Lee, you're right. Poor halfback. He had nowhere to go. Three. 
second and 11. Ball on their own 32. The Bruins set up in the gun. And he's going to lose yards on this one. This is a heads-up play by the linebacker. He's playing run and had his eyes on the guy carrying the football from the get-go. Good defensive play. Third and 14. Ball on the 29-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. Number 10 drops back. He's in trouble. Fires across the middle. Number 22 with a takedown at the 40-yard line. And that reception put him over 100 yards on the day. Well, this guy is such a big part of this offense. If he doesn't get his numbers, they usually don't have much success moving the football. And that's why he's so valuable to this football team, Kirk. He's a big-time college football player. The Trojans use a four-man front here. Number 10 with a nice play fake. He wants it all going long. Number 30 brings him down at the 16-yard line. And that's the end of the third quarter. Our score in this one, USC 14, UCLA nothing. And we're ready to start quarter number four. It's first and 10, ball on the 16-yard line. UCLA comes to the line with three wide. Number 10 gives it up the middle. And they make the stop at the 10-yard line. Six-yard pickup. USC comes out in a 3-4. All sides, home defense. Home defense. Five yard Five penalty, penalty. First, down. first down. He drops back. Throws it out there. Makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And he tacks on the extra point. So with over seven minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, the score is UCLA 7, USC 14. UCLA to kick, number 22, and number two, deep to return. Kicks it off. Number 22 fields it in the end zone. They'll get the ball here at the 17-yard line. The Trojans line up with three wide. Three, drops back to pass. He passes it. It falls incomplete. Boy, would he like to have that one back. Yeah, you're right. This offense relies so much on timing. And as you saw there, when their timing gets knocked off, they have a tough time connecting on plays like this. Second and 10. Ball on their own 17. The Trojans come out with split backs.
Under heavy pressure. Fires a bullet over the middle. And he drops it. And that will stop the clock. Yeah, Brad, that doesn't make too much sense to me. You got the lead. Just run the football. Keep the clock running. It's third down and 10. Ball on their own 17. Number three with three wide receivers. Number three, back to throw. Number 22, picks it off. That interception puts him right back in the game. I wouldn't have made that throw, and let me tell you why. You got the lead in the fourth quarter. There's no need to take big risks right now. Play conservative. Let your defense shut them down. First and 10, ball in the 29. One man backfield. Number 55 with a takedown at the 27. Two-yard pickup. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 27-yard line. UCLA lines up in a shotgun set. Number 10, back to pass. Rifles it over the middle. Complete. Third down and short. Ball on the 19-yard line. They come out in a goal line set. Number 10 steps back to pass. He's looking. And he throws it away. I think the pressure forced him to get rid of the ball there, guys. Yeah, great job here by the defense. Getting a good surge up front, getting right into the quarterback's face. It is fourth down and inches. Ball on the 19. Let's see if they can convert here. Still has it. Batted away. And that was a big stop defensively. Yeah, they only needed a few yards here to keep the drive alive. Great job by the defense to shut them down. They'll start this drive at the 19-yard line. Four-man front by the defense. Number three drops back to pass with the interception. The defense now has two interceptions in the ball game. And that's two more than the quarterback wanted to throw. Now he's got to go back out there and play smarter football when the offense takes the field again. Yeah, you're right, Coach. The quarterback has to be able to put that out of his mind and act like it never happened. Which one? First or second interception? I say both. It's first and ten. Ball on the 15-yard line. USC going with a three-man front. Number 27, the ball carrier. And he's tackled at the 14-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 14. Number 27 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. They'll run the option. And now he pitches it. He tries to spin. Number five brings him down at the four. Great run by the tailback. On that play, the defense looked a little overmatched there. They just got swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. It's power football time, folks. Set. There's a play fake. Guns it across the middle. And it's complete for the touchdown. So the tight end comes down with a big touchdown grab. Had some trouble defending that one, though. So. Hey, this is just a great play by the offense, Brad. Watch that delivery. It doesn't get much better than that.
and he hits the PAT. So with under five minutes to go here in the fourth, the score, UCLA 14, USC 14. UCLA lines up for the kickoff. Number 22 and number two back deep to return. He boots it deep downfield. Number 22 fields it in the end zone. He jukes him. The 30. And he comes up with a nice return. They'll take over at the 39-yard line. They're lining up in the 5-2. Number three drops back. And they got him. How do they get so much pressure on that play? Well, the reason is simple. The D-line just beat the O-line off the snap. Easy. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on their own 35. They use four linebackers. Back to pass. Looks. Fires across the middle. Number 11 knocks it away. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Third and 14 coming up here. Ball on the 35-yard line. Number three is back in the gun. Number three back to throw. Looking. Let's it go. And he can't make the catch. That'll bring up fourth down. Fourth down, and let me say one thing. This defense was up to the task that time in shutting down the pass play. Yeah, they shut it down, and they got the three and out they were looking for. Fourth and 14 coming up. Ball on the 35-yard line. They come out in a punt formation. Number nine signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 33. Go to work at the 33-yard line. Number 10 lines up in the shotgun. Spins up field. Gets past the tackler. Brought down at the 42. They'll get nine yards on the play. It's second down and one to go. Ball on the 42. They come out in a nickel. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. And the sneak is snaked out here. Third down and three coming up. Ball on the 40-yard line. The Trojans line up in a nickelback. Let's it fly. And they couldn't hook up on that one. And a great job that time on defense. Good job here, but let me tell you something. That wide out was left out to dry that time. Woo. Fourth and three coming up. Ball on the 40. UCLA lining up the punt. Number 30 calls for the fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 25. Oh. 
They'll get the ball here at the 25. USC comes to the line with three wide. Number three steps back to pass. He lets it go. Number two hangs on to it. Number nine with a takedown at the 44. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch and catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense, and the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup. Drops back to pass. He throws it, and it's caught. Tackle at the 49. That was a good completion there. Yeah, I really liked the good, clean routes they ran on that play. Number three drops the throw. He's looking for his man. Number 87 with a catch. He got up in the air and made the catch. Well, oh, that's all about timing, too, because if he jumped too early, he wouldn't have been able to catch that ball. Number three, back to pass. He unloads it. And that one's fallen incomplete. And he misses his wide receiver there. Yeah, you're right. This is an area that he's worked so hard to improve since day one. The accuracy of his throws. He's improved. But as you can see, he's upset here with himself. It's fourth down and three yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Number nine signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 18-yard line. They'll start this drive at the 18. UCLA comes out with an eye formation. Gives it up the middle. Number 45 brings him down at the 18. Didn't get anything. He drops back. Throws it out there. Batted away. Dropped by the tailback. Yeah, not an easy catch here, but if you want the ball to keep coming your way, you got to make these plays. Third and ten. Ball on the 18-yard line. Number 27 alone in the backfield. Back to pass. He's under pressure. He passes it. Number 22 with a takedown at the 34-yard line. Not a bad play there. Not at all. And if this wideout can continue to make plays like this, allowing them to spread the ball around, this offense is going to be tough to stop. Number 87 has it. Nice little catch there, huh, Coach? Yeah, that was a good call. I like that call. I like short passes. They're safe and can lead to some really good yardage. Number 10 drops back. He lobs it out to the right. Number 27 makes a catch. Nothing going on that one. Drops back to pass. Let's it go. Incomplete. The quarterback saw the blitz and just got rid of the ball. It's fourth down now, five yards to go. Ball on the 39. Number 19, set to punt. Number 30, calls for the fair catch. And they make the fair catch at the 27. They'll take over at the 27. USC comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Number three drops back to pass, lets it fly. Holding, Holding. on the offense. On the offense. Ten 
It's first and a mile. Ball on their own 17. Number three with three wide receivers. Number three steps back to pass. Fires a bullet over the middle. And they finally tackle him at the 43. Got a stat for us, coach? Why does this stat not surprise me? With that catch, his total yards for the day is over 100. Number three drops to throw. He's looking. Going deep. And it's incomplete. Dropped by the tight end. Number 84, the intended receiver on the play. And second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. USC goes with the ace set here. He drops back. He lets it go. Complete. Number 22 brings him down at the 49. The offense calls a timeout, and they've got two remaining. It's third down and two to go. Ball on the 49. The Trojans line up in a split back set. Number three, back to throw. He throws it. And that one's fallen incomplete. And he overthrew that one badly. Whoa, the receiver's fast, but he's not that fast. Fourth and two, ball on the 49-yard line. USC lining up the punt. Number nine, signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 10. At the 10 yard line, the Trojans come out in a 4 3. Number 10, back to pass. Here comes the pressure. He's looking for his man, and he's caught, and he's taken down at the 13 yard line. The Bruins are going to take a timeout, and that was their first timeout. A second down and seven to go. Ball on the 13 yard line. Nickel defense, number 10, drops back to pass. Throws it deep downfield, and it's knocked away. The defense comes up with a nice play that time. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 13. Number 10 with four wide receivers. Back to pass. Under pressure. Number 93 comes away with a sack. USC calls a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. Fourth down and 10. Ball on the 10 yard line. They line up to punt this one away. Number 30 calls for the fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 48. They'll get the ball here at the 48. Six DBs in the lineup. Number three steps back to pass. Looks. Rolls to the left, rifles it over the middle, and he drops it. The pass falls incomplete. Number 83, the intended receiver on the play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball right around midfield. And I think they're going to take one last shot at the end zone here. Number three, drops back, steps up, he's in trouble. Deep pass down the left side, incomplete. 
That'll do it for regulation, and we are going to settle this one in overtime. It's first and 10, ball on the 25. UCLA lines up with three receivers. tackle he spins number 43 with a takedown at the 18 the halfback got about seven yards there on the pitch second and three ball on the 18 they line up in a double tight set number 10 running the option Number five brings him down at the 12. A gain of six. First and 10, ball on the 12. UCLA comes to the line with three wide. Number 10 gives it up the middle. Number 43 with a takedown at the five-yard line. A nice seven-yard run by the fullback. High formation here. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He gets rid of this one. They got some good pressure on him there. Yeah, but don't forget the fact that nobody was open. That was good coverage, too. UCLA will line up in a jumbo set here. On the ground, up the middle. How about that run? I love this right here. They're just really sticking it to him. Old-fashioned football. Definitely just give it to the fullback and let him grind it out for the first down. They're crowding the line. Off, up the middle. Touchdown, Bruin. Nice short touchdown run by the halfback. Yeah, pretty simple here. He just took the football, knew where the goal line was, and got across for the touchdown. Let's see the replay on that run. And he tacks on the extra point. Well, the offense did their part. Now it's time for the defense to take over. And this is a very high pressure situation for an offense to face. If you don't score a touchdown, you lose. It's first and 10, ball on the 25-yard line. Number 25 lines up as a single back. Number 25 gets it out of pitch. And they hit him in the backfield. And the defense just swarmed over him on that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. Second and 10, ball on the 25. The Trojans line up with three wide. Number three, back to throw. And it's incomplete. And the tight end couldn't manage to hold on to that one. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 25. The Bruins line up in a nickel back. 
He drops back. He unloads it. Number 88 hangs on to it. They'll bring him down at the 21. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. It's fourth down and six. Ball on the 21-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. Back to pass. He steps up, throws it out there. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Well, it took overtime, but we finally got her done. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? Well, it doesn't surprise me that this one went into overtime. UCLA knew they had their hands full in this one. This was a very even matchup coming in, and it lived up to its billing. That concludes another game of NCAA Football 2003. And again, our final score, UCLA 21, USC 14. So for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye, everybody, and thanks for tuning in.